Hey everyone, in uh, this video I'm going to show you how to create your own projection spreadsheet so you can pull in your um, your NBA stats in daily and you can do your research without having to look at go from website to website and finding uh, finding your stats. You can just get a, set up an Excel spreadsheet to basically uh, pull it all in. Yes! Uh, the only thing we... so to do this, well, first we're going to start off by getting the actual salaries. Most of the websites you can pull the information in from, but from FanDuel you can't really pull the, the stats in. So we'll just we're starting this off by going into FanDuel, going to the NBA, and I'm gonna just pull up uh, any tournament. So this is gonna get give us all the players for all the games. We click download player list. And then down here, we just click open. And then here's all our players. So now I'm just going to need to copy this over. To our main spreadsheet. And this is the only data that we have to actually copy and paste in. Everything else we can pull in and uh, get, get our stats to automatically update. So that's our first step. We've got our our extract of all the uh, the salary information and everything. Step two is we're going to create a name tag. So we're, this is be name because when you look at this it's got a first name and last name separated. So first what we're going to do is combine it. We're going to use this formula because equals here and then this little and sign will just combine stuff. So first we need to put a quote space quote. So we have a space between the first name and last name. And then we put the last name. Oops. Oh, we never finished it off. We have to put another and, and then last name. So now we've got the player's name. So you can take that, you can copy it down, and copy it all the way down, and then you get all your all your players' names. So now, now we have our, our base part set up. So the next part we got to do is find some web pages. And I've already done that for you. What the web pages you want to find some websites that actually have stats that you can uh, you can easily pull. Uh, the first one I like to go with is Basketball Reference. They got a lot a lot of good stats on here. You know, like you can get yesterday's games. Here's one that I found for all the player stats throughout the whole game. And I've got it set up as the per game stats. So this would be good. We can go in here and pull this information. And there's a couple other ones on here. Rotowire will pull in the defensive stats, the defense versus position. How does like your defense do against uh, shooting guards or small forwards or whatever? And then here's a third one, which I'm not going to get into a lot, but it's just showing you there's a lot of stats here that you can get. Here's more defensive stats, how a team team opponent stats are. And you can do the average. You can see how are they in the last three games, in the last ten games. You could set these up and then pull all the stats in automatically. So first one I'm going to do, I want to, I want to pull in this information here. So to do that, you're going to copy the, the website URL. I'm going to go back to our spreadsheet. And we're going to create a tab. And then we'll call just call this NBA Reference. I'm going to go up to data, get external data and from the web. So sometimes when you're doing this, there's a lot of little errors that come in. You just have to press OK. I'm going to delete the URL and copy and paste the new one into here. And click go. So now it's going to pull in the stats. You need to now tell it what stats to pull in. Otherwise it's going to pull the whole page in. And which might be the only option, because sometimes Excel kind of looks for tables. It's not really finding any tables here, so it's looking for the whole table. So you're just going to click this, put the, it puts the little check mark, and it's going to pull the whole table in. I'm going to click Import. Uh, where do you want to put it? A cell A1. We'll click OK. So now since it's pulling the whole table, it's got some whole bunch of uh, crazy messages here. 
at the beginning, that's no big deal. Because then when you scroll down here, here's all your stats. And all this stuff is going to pull in the same every day. So when it comes time when the next day comes, you can go on to here. You right click and go down to uh, refresh right at the bottom. And then it'll just pull in the next day's updated statistics. You don't have to go to a web page or anything. You just go into here, press refresh. You can even set up a macro, which will go onto each page and automatically refresh them for you. So here's the player stats. So now what we can do, if we say we want to start pulling in some stats, like let's look at this. What do we want to pull in? Let's say we want to pull in, I don't know, here, MP, minutes per game. So we want to pull in this, this column here. So we go to main. Now here we're going to put in minutes per game. And to do this, we're going to do a formula. It's called VLOOKUP. So you're going to type in VLOOKUP, and you can see the formula right up here. And what do we, what's the lookup value? We're looking up this player's name. Where's the table array? We're looking it up in our spreadsheet here, and we're looking up in this whole table. The leftmost column has to be where this player name is going to be. So now it's going to look in this column for the player's name. Put another comma. Next is column index. That means which column do we want to pull? So we were looking starting off here, so that's column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're pulling in the seventh column, which is the MP, and then false just means uh, we want an exact match. Press OK. And it's going to show 36.9 minutes per game. And you can copy it down, and it's going to have all the players' minutes per game there. And then when the next day comes, you, I mean, you're just going to copy and paste the new FanDuel stats. And then this is just going to automatically update with the player's name and the new minutes per game based off of these new stats, which you pull. So now we just updated the minutes per game, and we can do this for what, however many stats you want to pull in. Say you also want to pull in three-pointer percentage or how many re total rebounds per game they get, assists. You can put a, pull in all of this and just, you can do another formula, but instead of, Say instead of column 7, everything else will be the same. Maybe you're pulling in column 20, which might be total rebounds, or whatever it is. You just have to do that yourself. But this is just showing you that it can be pretty easy to pull in uh, whatever stats that you want. The uh, I want to show you one more stat that, that we can pull in, which makes it, this is a little trickier here, but this defense defense first position. So say right here we're looking at shooting guards. How do teams do versus, uh, versus shooting guards? So we're going to pull this stat in. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to our spreadsheet. I'm going to create a new tab. And I'm going to call this, say, shooting guard. Oops. I I've already got, must already have that name. So we'll just call it shoot. So we're going to go up to data, get external data from the web. So I'm going to go up here and delete this, and I'm going to press Control v to, cop to paste in our URL. So now it's pulling in the Rotowire stats. Sometimes you get these errors uh, just because Excel just doesn't always recognize it. And normally you don't get this many, but you only have to do this one time and then it, it's fine.
so now once this is uh, ready, you're going to look down here and see if you have any of these yellow arrows, which we do. And it's perfect because it's right over the table. So when we click on this, it's going to just pull in this table and not all the other information. So we're going to click Import. And it, it just pulled in all the data. So I'm just going to make this a little smaller, a little more condensed. So now we've got all the teams here and how they do versus the shooting guard. And you can go back, and let's see, I'm just call this shoot. And you can go back and do this for all the positions, point guards, uh, centers, and everything, and get this set up. I'm just going to show you how to set up for the shooting guard. So we're going to go back to our main table. And on our main table here, we already have our player name with the uh, minutes they played. And we see we would have added other stats. But now let's just say uh, how the defense does versus shooting guards. So to do this, we can uh, do another VLOOKUP and pull in the team that we're playing. However, the difficulty here is the opponent is... See, it's just an abbreviation from FanDuel. And if we're going to be looking it up on here, it's the team names. So we need to create an extra um, chart to kind of pull the team names in. So we've got all these team names here. I already kind of created this chart for, for different ones. So these are all the FanDuel abbreviations. Here's all the first, uh, just like the cities. But if you look at the uh, teams, it's the full name. So to get that, what we're going to do, we're just going to copy this. So we'll do Control C. We'll put this over the teams here and paste it in. I, it's not, I mean, lined up here. So let's just do a sort. So we're just going to go data sort by, we'll just sort by column A. No, oh, it didn't pick it up. Try this again here. Sort by column A, and then sort by column C. Okay, well, let's just sort by this column here. So now we've got, at least for the most part, let's just kind of look at these. I just sorted by this column to get them all in alphabetical so these would line up. Some of them don't exactly line up, so we just I'm just going to move them around. To make sure they all line up, see like Boston, and I'll line up the Boston Charlotte. Let's just kind of scroll through these, make sure they all line up here. It's so far there, it's looking good. Uh, looks like these need to be switched. There, so we've got all the teams, and now we. This is kind of like our extra chart of teams. So now when we go back to the main table here, we're going to create another column. It's called, uh, just call it the team, so defensive team. So we're going to do another VLOOKUP. But here we're going to find the opponent, and we're going to pull it in to go by teams. So we're going to look in here for this abbreviation. We're going to take the third column, put false. There. So now we've got Golden State Warriors. That's the opponent that they're facing. And let's do, uh, now we're going to do the VLOOKUP based off of this team, this defensive team. So we're going to do VLOOKUP. I'm going to pull this count, which is Q2. So, and what am I going to look in? I'm looking in the shoot, for the shooting guard. I'm going to highlight all of this, and let's say we want to pull average points against. So that means column 1, 2, and 3. So column 3, comma, false. So it's 36.7. Now when I copy this down, this is how many points, defensive points, that they average to give up. All, however, this is only against shooting guards. We might not be face these get player might not be a shooting guard. So since we have this V lookup, we want to put an if statement before here. And an if statement is just gonna kind kind of check to see 
let's say if this equals sg, which it does, if it does, then it's gonna then you want to pull in this VLOOKUP. If it doesn't, then we're gonna just put a zero in there. So then when we scroll over, now when we copy this down. See, all of these are coming up as zero, but except for these two, because these two are the only shooting guards. See, when we scroll over, your shooting guard. Now these are all the other positions that aren't shooting guards. So we don't want to pull in this stat because we we only want to pull in. This is how the player does against shooting guards. And if they're a center, we don't want it. We don't care about that. So then, what you would do is you would just have to create this for every other position. Say defense versus point guards and then you're gonna you can, I mean the defensive team is still the same so you don't have to do that part again you're gonna create a new table which is pulling in the the web page for point guards and then you're gonna just do another V lookup to pull in your stats for the point guards and it's gonna show you how many points to give up and then if you can't really tell like is 36 a lot is, is it not that many one more formula I want to show on here that you can set up. It's called rank. So I'm going to do the formula. The formula is actually rank. And what number are we looking at? Actually, I have to this one too high here. So here's where we're going to start our formula. So we'll rank. What are we looking at? We're looking at this number, comma, and what reference, which is all of this. So we're going to highlight all these numbers, and it's going to rank the rank them. So this is number one. So that means it's the highest number. Then we copy it down. Actually, what we need to do is put dollar signs in front of here, so it's always looking at at the the range. So now when we copy this down. It's going to give you the rank. I mean, it looks like they already have them sorted in order of most points down to least. But just when you, you see the rank as number one, you can now do a VLOOKUP to pull that stat in. So instead of here, if instead we wanted to pull column three, first we want to make sure we go far enough. So we'll just go to column Z. And let's uh, see where we'd have, have to reference. So we've got 1 all the way to column P. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. So we want to pull in the 16th column. So when we go back here, instead of 3, we're going to put in 16. So now that they're ranked 7th. And we'll go down, and they're ranked 5th. So that means that they give up the 5th most amount of points to shoot guard, shooting guards. They give up the 7th most amount. So now if you're not really sure what those numbers mean, you can just look at the rank and you have, you can see if you're facing a team that gives up a lot of points to shooting guards or not. And, uh, or if you're facing a team that's tough against shooting guards. And you can do this for as many stats as you want. And even once you get this going, you can start hiding columns. Like here, once you have this set up, you don't need to see this anymore. So if you wanted, you can right click and go to hide. You could hide the column. And when you're, you can go to data filter, and what filter is going to do is just put a, put this little filter on here. This isn't too advanced of stuff, but if you wanted to start sorting by something, maybe here, maybe by a certain position, maybe you just want to look at the point guards, then it'll just pull up the point guards here. And that's really it for uh, for setting up. Uh, a spreadsheet. I mean, there's tons of more things you could do. Tons of more categories of stats you can set up. Um, you can even start combining these if you'd wanted. That gets really more advanced. But just creating a separate column for them is perfectly fine. And you just go in, put as many stats as you want. And then when the next day comes, all you have to do is copy and paste in your new FanDuel stats. Go to your tables, right-click, and go down to refresh. 
which is right down here, go to refresh each page, and then uh, you're all set to pull in the uh, pull in your next data stats and get all your information updated right right there for you in in no time. I uh, hope this information was helpful for you, and uh, thanks a lot. And uh, before I do go, I just kind of want to run through uh, my spreadsheet school that I have. I run uh, www.spreadsheetschooldfs.com. What it basically is, is just kind of similar to what you just saw. Videos like this, I have about 40, 45 videos, um, all between like 3 and 15 minutes showing you how to do different items very similar to this. Um, if you look at the course, what it's going to do, like the first is how to pull in data from the web, sort of like I showed you, but it goes a little more advanced. It goes into Google Sheets, goes into Power Query, where you can uh, pull in the stats a little easier, and it goes into other more advanced features of combining data and pulling it in. Uh, another section is how to do research on uh, prior game logs. You can find trends. You can kind of see like how players do on one day rest, zero days rest, how players do in many, many different types of situations. Then you, I show you how to create your own projections. How you can take kind of like your research of, of what you did in, in the prior game logs and build your own projections so you have your own stats which you can look at which are your own. Uh, I also go into using Solver. Solver is an add-in in Excel and it'll show you how to make optimized lineups uh, by kind of looking at the projections and picking the best players based on the, the, their salaries. And we just finish off with other advanced Excel t techniques, uh, pivot tables, uh, uh, different conditional formatting, uh, many other uh, items that you can uh, use to uh, basically help save your time, save yourself time when doing research and improve your lineups and hope, hopefully make you money. So um, the course has gotten a lot of good reviews, and I hope you uh, at least just check it out and uh, see if, uh, if it looks like a good fit for you or not. Uh, thanks a lot.